And welcome, welcome to episode two of Elixir Drops. My name is Doug, and I am going to show you a little bit of Elixir in five minute chunks, starting with uh, today we're gonna cover module docs, case statement, and pattern mashing functions. So let's get started. I've written a little uh, simple Elixir app. Uh, it's basically like an API for email, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We're using IEX-S mix. And um, I wanted to show one of the coolest things about Elixir, which is Elixir documentation. It's built right in. So um, if I know I want to use a list module, but I don't know the function name, I can list.tab, and then I can find, oh, that's right, I wanted to use the first uh, function. And using H, I can display how it works. I get the, the function and the argument, uh, a little bit about how it works, as well as some examples here how to use it. So uh, we can do the same thing for this sent grid API that someone has uh, so graciously written for us. So if we use the helper uh, H again with sent grid send email, we can see how this function works. It takes a type, which is just some sort of atom, and uh, gives us an OK error tuple return. Great, so now that we know how this works, uh, we can go ahead and write a wrapper for it. So let's do that. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and write it right in here. Um, so, uh, for lack of a better name, we'll call this wrapper the manager, um, and not, not great, I know. Uh, and we'll go ahead and send an email, it takes in a type, and now we can learn about a case statement. So, how to write a case statement. Um, case, do, end, and we will use a function that we're going to call. In this case, we're going to send an email with send grid send email and it's going to take a type. Now that value coming back, again, from the documentation we just saw earlier, it's going to be either an OK error tuple. So if it's OK, then we want to return the message, uh, maybe wrap that and say, um, put that to the console screen, success, email sent, and we can interpolate that message like so. Uh, if it's an error, uh, you know, we want to s capture that as an error and say, error, you know, whatever happened will be will display there. So that's a case statement in a nutshell. This is evaluated and however many um, different options there are, and in our case there's only two, but there could be several, um, the Elixir will match on whatever came back from this function and then return whatever came here. And you can have multiple lines of code here. Uh, we just happen to have one. Uh, so let's see then in action. We can actually just recompile this manager. Can we not? Okay. Uh, let's try this again. We can go into here and we can call our manager send email and I want to send a marketing email and boom success marketing email sent uh, and uh, we can see how this works with invalid type error. Now oh whoa now that we've uh, done that let's go ahead and just take a quick peek at actually how this send grid uh, API was designed. So there's a module doc documentation. Again, here, this is what we saw earlier when we used the H helper to see how this function works. This is how that you can add that to your own um, code yourself at doc and um, example code. And this is actually test code, which we'll get to maybe in another video. And here you can see another case statement. On, based on the type coming in, you know, we just return a simple tuple. Now, lastly, I want to talk about pattern matching in functions. So let's go ahead and just uh, do a friendly pull request or a hot reloading right now to this. Um, we can actually pattern match on the type itself. So rather than have a case statement, we can do something like this where we simply pattern match on the actual value being sent in. And so, uh, you know, if we get a marketing email, we want to send it like so. Uh, maybe I can get fancy and do this quicker. Um, send email based on this type. Oh, my fanciness wears off. And uh, there you go. We can do this in one line. So in one line elixir like so. We don't need that. And uh, again, we're going to need this here. Do it in one line with a comma do colon. And lastly, uh, this is a paradigm you've seen Elixir a lot. Underscore means we don't care what the value is. We don't want to capture it. Uh, so anything other than these three types, we'll just go ahead and return error. And uh, we got a little extra ends there. 
So this is a basic function. These are one-line versions of it. But this is how you would pattern match using functions. So Elixir will, when you call this send email function, um, it will try each of these until it finds a match. And if not, it will uh, hit the base case here of no match and say that there's an invalid email. And uh, we can see that here. There we go. We can reload it. And sure enough, it still works as it did before. Uh, we can send a support email and success, support email sent. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. We covered um, module docs, case statement, pattern matching functions. I'll have more videos to come. If you enjoyed this, please like or subscribe. Thank you.